What's up? I'm Travis from Blink-182 and this is my crib. Welcome. Everyone's favorite drummer Travis Barker has been making headlines lately since he seems to be Kourtney Kardashian's new boyfriend. A matchup that at least I wasn't expecting. If you didn't know, the two also live in the same neighborhood as far as I know, Calabasas, California. In 2019, one of Travis's properties here came up for rent at over 27 k per month and he owns a larger mansion in a more expensive pocket of the same Calabasas development he bought in 2007. Today we'll check out three of the Blink-182 drummer's homes past and present. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Travis Barker is a musician, songwriter, and record producer who's best known for being the drummer in Blink-182, one of my favorite bands. He's also frequently collabed with hip-hop artists, allowing him to work in different circles, and founded the rock bands Plus 44 and Boxcar Racer. These, of course, are only a few of his accomplishments, and Travis has done a great job in staying relevant over the years. Due to his fame, Rolling Stone referred to him as punk's first superstar drummer, as well as one of the 100 greatest drummers of all time. One thing's for sure, the man is definitely a superstar. Travis also starred in an MTV reality series, Meet the Barkers, at one point, and honestly, once you have a reality show, I think that proves you're pretty versatile. Not only does he still work with Blink-182, he's continued to work with rappers such as Yellow Wolf and Machine Gun Kelly, for example. Considering all of Travis's ventures, even businesses aside from music, he's amassed a net worth of about $50 million. With that, not only has he bought those two mansions in Calabasas, but he maintains a handful of properties in Southern California as well. This includes a five-bedroom home in Rancho Cucamonga and some more ordinary ones like a tract house in Lake Elsinore he bought in 2004 for 480k. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're checking out where the heavily tatted and superstar drummer Travis Barker calls home, including his gorgeous estates in Calabasas. As you know, here we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered what Lil Uzi Vert is spending on his new face diamond implant or about Conor McGregor's million dollar watches? We recently started a brand new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. Join us and be one of the first to subscribe. You don't want to miss this. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. It seems that Travis has always lived in luxury homes even since the early days. Like his former home in Corona, California, he showed off to MTV Cribs once upon a time. Aside from this massive estate, the rocker more recently owned a fresh and contemporary residence in the Cheviot Hills area of Los Angeles. Cheviot Hills is a neighborhood full of single family homes on the west side of LA, which has served as the filming location for numerous TV shows and movies, as it's between Fox and Sony Studios. Travis purchased his former home here in 2014 for exactly $4 million, and when he listed it in 2017, it came with an asking price of $4.75 million. The 4,173 square foot house sat on a corner lot behind secured gates, and moving inside, there's a spacious entryway with porcelain floor tiles and wood planks on the ceiling. The home, built the same year Travis bought it, boasted four beds and four baths, and there was a combination living and dining room with a huge fireplace and floor to ceiling bookshelves. 10 foot tall windows and 13 foot ceilings also grace the living room, allowing for a ton of light. The open plan kitchen has gotta be my favorite part of the home, where the reclaimed wood ceilings continue and are complemented by all white cabinetry. The best part? I think it's the retractable wall of glass that creates the indoor-outdoor vibe here. Even the large Eden Island extends outside. The second floor of this bold and modern estate hangs over the patio, providing a sheltered outdoor space on the terrace with a TV and fireplace. Travis's former home office has a separate entrance and the master suite is peaceful and complete with not one, not two, but three walk-in closets. There's also a ceramic and walnut ensuite bath and a built-in vanity. The yard here is complete with a dining area, a built-in barbecue, and solar-heated saltwater swimming pool. In 2017, while Travis already owned a larger and more expensive mansion in the same Oaks development, records show he picked up a second home in the posh enclave for just over $2.8 million. More recently, his refreshed property came up as an upscale pet-friendly rental at just over 27k per month. 
Let's take a look. If the Oaks and Calabasas where this home is located sounds familiar, it's because not only is it a celeb pack neighborhood, it's also where Travis's new girlfriend Kourtney Kardashian calls home. Anyways, Travis's second property here sits on a 0.38 acre corner parcel and boasts 7,126 square feet with five beds, six baths, and some bonus rooms. The luxury estate is organized around a central courtyard with an outdoor fireplace and built back in 2006. Comparing pics from the time of purchase and when Travis put it up for rent, it seems he also did a lot of redecorating in terms of the interiors. Inside, there are plenty of spaces to entertain, like the double height formal living room with fireplace and stairs leading to the upper level and a dining room with sparkling chandelier. The kitchen here has been refreshed as well, boasting dark blue cabinets complemented with white walls and counters. There's also a family room with corner fireplace and built-in media center and an extra room that can serve as an office or library just off the entrance hall. Both the sun-filled breakfast room and the family rooms have French doors out to the yard and terrace and the backyard has everything you could need. There's a built-in fire pit with built-in bench seating, a swimming pool and spa, a fountain, which is all protected with walls and hedges for privacy. Finally, upstairs in the home, the master suite offers up its own private sitting room, a balcony, spacious ensuite, and custom walk-in closet behind glass doors. While Travis put that mansion up for rent, he still owns his much larger residence in the same Calabasas development he bought in 2007 for $9.5 million. Also in the Oaks, this is thought to be the home that Travis still lives in. Unfortunately, the location and up updated pictures of this home are kept much more private than the others we looked at, but we can get an idea. Thanks to aerial shots, we can see how massive the estate is, and it sits on 1.5 acres of land. The home was newly constructed when Travis bought it and built in a sprawling villa style. While it's a single story home, it covers 10,198 square feet of space, with 7 beds and 7.5 bathrooms. His mansion was designed with quality craftsmanship and has everything from a separate guest house, home theater, refrigerator wine cellar, games room, and more. There are towering ceilings in the common spaces, some of them vaulted and barreled, along with inlaid stone floors, Venetian plaster walls, hand-carved moldings, imported granite, and marble counters. Outside, the entertaining pavilion has a barbecue area adjoining mosaic pool and spa, rolling lawns and fountains, which is all protected behind guarded gates on a quiet street. So now we've taken a look at three homes of famous drummer Travis Barker and two of his current real estate holdings are located in the same community of the Oaks in Calabasas. Since he and Kourtney Kardashian are an item and clearly neighbors in the same posh hood, it must make for easy visits and stayovers. Maybe they can walk to each other's mansions. After checking out Travis's homes, including his former house in Cheviot Hills, his smaller house in the Oaks he has rented out, and what we know about his current mansion there, what did you think? From what I could see, it seems all of the man's properties were pretty high class, and the biggest of all is his current place he bought back in 2007. One thing's for sure, Travis likes living in style, especially homes with double height ceilings, opulent chandeliers, and marble floors. My personal fave though, I think it's the one he rented out in the Oaks. It's a bit more contemporary and not as massive, but it's big enough, and I love the airy and open spaces throughout. What about you guys? Be sure to rate Travis's homes and choose your favorite in the comments down below. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to my personal channel. I'll be doing another Q&A over there soon, so ask me some questions about whatever you want. We'll link you my latest video and you can drop questions in the comment section. Wait, 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 wait. Did she just say she's 18 years old? Oh my gosh, 18? I am shook. I thought she was like my age. She's a Gemini like me. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.